fam, welcome back to George Reviews. Today on George Reviews, we'll be taking a look at G.I. Joe Classified Series figure. It is G.I. Joe Edward Torpedo Leahy Aloha. It should be W in there. Check the back of the box. Uh, Edward, no, it does say his middle, um, his middle initial is W. I don't know what that means, but Edward W. Leahy Aloha Torpedo from the Hawaiian Islands. But this is the standard G.I. Joe packaging. A little bit of artwork right here for Torpedo, his accessories. Name in front of the box, Hasbro side of the box. Uh, back of the box is more of the same, more of the contents of the packaging. It tells us that he is six feet even or 157 millimeters tall. A couple little details right there and a little bit more artwork on the side of the box. He is numbered at 73. So let's get our Cobra Eel open and take a look. Here is Torpedo, and this should be a full locker with his accessories. Check in the box, nothing further in the box. Ah, his foot locker is uh, black instead of the standard blue. I, I've been getting blue, I don't know. I haven't opened up all these guys, but first black one I can remember getting. And we get this little bit of tissue paper that contains his accessories. And we get a ton of accessories. And when I was a kid, getting figures like this that came with a lot of accessories was like just a mini treasure. It's just a pure delight to have and to own the G.I. Joe line. And at the same standard price. A lot of times they up the price for figures that come with a lot of these accessories and call them like a deluxe figure. But not this time. And there's still more. The gun. Gun clip. And a knife. That's not a knife. Let's get Torpedo over here in the back of the little container. Has some artwork for Torpedo right there. Man, he looks angry. Something's wrong. Let's get this guy free to take a look. Just a little bit of effort, and he is free. Right, let's get a closer look at our Torpedo in his wetsuit. Not to be confused with wetsuit. Now, there's a few different things going on here, but let's start with the face. This is his face. Very stern look to his face. Very nice sculpt, nice painting on his lips, appears to have brown eyes. And one thing I can tell you right now, I wish he had came with an um, uncovered head. That would have been so cool, the extra head, that way he doesn't have to uh, look like he just got out of the water, he's just about to get into the water at all times, you know. <laughs> Pretty sure as they're getting to the boat or going to the boat or something, he's not wearing this thing. But it does look good, it's a black piece and the entire face is painted. Coming down to his suit. Now, I like what they did, and I don't like what they did. In the chest, like, the gray is the primary plastic, and they painted the black. And when we get to the legs, they switch to the black being the primary, primary plastic, and they painted the gray. And we got, like, some bleed and some overspray. This would have been served so much better if they had did it in the gray, because, like, his feet is gray plastic. They should have just did it all the way down, because it's so much easier if something scrapes to match a flat black you know what I mean like it's hard to get flat black wrong so I think they should have done that and his hands are gray plastic as well the wetsuit other than this little bit of um, overspray right here in the thigh it looks good overall spinning him around he has some gear over his shoulders and across his chest this is a separate piece right here separate gray plastic piece he has couple pouches right there I don't know what that's about I've never been to diving school I don't know what that is I know it could be painted a little bit better on that corner but it's not too bad and he has this little device right here on his wrist this is a separate piece I don't know if this is like underwater location or something like that let him know where he's at at all times or something like that there's a slight design in the gloves right there just a little bit this side and I don't know if I said it already but the gloves are a gray plastic and coming down here, he has this pouch on his leg that's spinning around. I'm pretty sure this is a sheath for his knife. I think so. Let's see what's on this side. And he has, uh, this is just pockets. I thought this was another sheath. Looks like three pockets for whatever he needs underwater. And this one kind of floats around freely, but this one is securely in place. So let's take a look at Torpedo's articulation. Torpedo can look up this far. And you want it to be a lot. So when he's swimming, I guess maybe we can... Because you want him to look forward while he's swimming. And we got his back is just arched. So not enough of Montez looking forward. He can look down 
this much and not that much. I guess the design of the chin, but not much looking down either. Head can rock side to side, full 360, going to his shoulders. Get him up this far. I'm, I'm expecting to be full. I expect this to be standard GI Joe articulation. 360 at the shoulder, the bicep. Uh, it probably will 360, but it's not really coming over this part right here. I don't want to force it. Elbow bend right there, a lot. Coming down to his wrist. He has an up and down articulation on this hand. And not getting a lot out of it. Not a lot. Whatever he has a trigger. Coming to his abdomen, we already activated that. He can rear back this far. Bend over this far. That waist. Full 360 out of it. Then this trunk piece is a separate piece. Just notice that. Like all the way under here, this is a separate little piece. Just kind of cool. It makes it really, really soft. The Joes could use this on everybody, not just this undersea diving suit. Could use this little soft crotch piece. I activated the hips just by moving around. Drop down hips. Thigh swivel right there. Knee bend. Whole lot of articulation from this guy. Uh, and an ankle swivel right there. Boom. Wasn't expecting that. Front and back out of the feet and side to side. He has a little design in the shoes as well. So all the articulation you expect out of a Joe figure, which is a nice amount of articulation for a figure of this scale and price. Moving on to accessories. We'll start with his knife right here. It has some red paint on the handle. And this could have been done better. It's, you can just see the black bleed all day. The black coming through. It could have used like some primer underneath. And it's a little bit of overpaint right here on the blade, if you can see that. Maybe it's no big deal because I can hardly see it. Let's see if we can get it in his hand. And he can get the killing underwater. I got this right away. Yeah, that's how it goes. Just like this. Blake little bit looks sharper. It looks very blunt, very dull. <laughs> uh, and by the way, our torpedo is a demolitions expert. Let's get this knife in the sheath on his leg. I believe this is where it goes. Oh, bam, gun. right there. His second gun. Now, I don't know what this is. Here it is. A lot of detail in it. Put a lot of molding in detail. It's a shame they don't hit more of these guns with more paint. And here's this clip. It goes in. I'm always impressed by these guns and the clip. But at the same time, I do not want to lose these things. Bam. It should fit in his hand just perfect. It should fit in his hand perfectly, like the knife. Hand on the trigger, here he is, and can he fire this underwater? I don't know. Maybe this is when he is on the docks. On the sub. And real quick, here he is with two hands on it. And at this point in the video, I don't see any place to store it as of now. So let's continue on. Here is Torpedo's harpoon gun. It has a rope on it. It's just all one plastic piece. The rope is painted yellow and not very well. You can see it bleeding through. It'll probably rub off very soon. And he has the torpedo. It's a shame they didn't give us two, two separate pieces so we can slide it in there and slide it out and attach our own cord. But it has a molded in cord on it right here. Now this handle is kind of unusual because I guess I got to get fingers in here and a trigger finger up here. I don't know. See how this goes. Had to turn it around a bit. Try to get that finger in there. And his hands are softer than most Joe's. Most Joe's hands are a nightmare to try to get open. But there we go. Here is Torpedo holding a harpoon gun. I think next up I'm going to go for, uh, I guess this is oxygen tank. I, man, I don't know. I, I have never been diving. I've, well, I've snorkeled, but never had like a, a oxygen tank. And clearly it's updated from the 80s version. This is very streamlined, and I don't know which is the top. This is the top. This is the bottom. I don't know where it tail by his back. Yeah, I believe it goes this way. I believe this is the configuration. I don't know. Maybe this is storage at the bottom. Let's Let keep go going. With 
here are his flippers and they are marked left and right it's a soft plastic oh this is so sweet <laughs> this is sweet let's <laughs> see why those covert eels are sold out everywhere and today i saw they had listed some more pre-orders on hasbro pulse and i missed out again slide these on they're going easily and fit securely Like and of that. course I'm saving the mask for last. Now, where they messed up with this mask is not making it clear so you can see his eyes through. Oh man, that sucks. What a missed opportunity. Here's the mask. It's all black plastic. It's some of the same red paint we've seen in other places. Some of the same gray paint. Two different versions of it that we've seen in other places on our figure. I'm going to slide this gear right over his face. Bam. Looks so aquatic. And plug these into his oxygen tank. I used to love this figure as a kid. And you best believe me, I played with it in the bathtub forever. Him, Deep Six, Cobra Eel, G.I. Joe, Devilfish, you name it. I had all the uh, underwater aquatic stuff in the bathtub and was not ashamed of it at all. And here is our torpedo ready for some underwater adventure. Oh, man, this is just gorgeous. Let's see if this gun stores now. Maybe, I don't know. I'm just I'm just trying. I, I have no clue if this thing actually... Oh, it's clipping on. Oh, we got gun stores. I don't know if it's meant to go there, but he can hold all of his wet. Well, he got this one in his hand. Maybe the harpoon gun goes there. I don't know. But real quick, here's Torpedo. All armed up. All right, it's time to give Torpedo the size up and the rundown. Kicking this off is his Marine Mate Shipwreck. Here's Generation 1 Shark Decon Naw. Here's our Torpedo next to Transformers God Neptune. Now we have a little toy shark I pulled out of the bin at Target. Bandai Voltron Blue Lion. G.I. Joe Classified Croc Masters Fiona. Representing Marvel Legends is Prince Namor. Lastly, we gotta have the leader of the Joes. Here is Duke. All right, next up, I wanna put Torpedo next to the cartoon model. And you can see the cartoon model is wearing like this all blue onesie. And basically, this was cartoon black. So basically, they, they use like a blue instead of black most of the time for whatever reason. And you can clearly see his face. The, the vintage toy, you can also see his face, but he had gray flippers. I wonder why they didn't give us that option to go more vintage unless they're going to re-release this figure down the line, uh, card it or something at Walmart as part of the vintage collection. I got one more little throwback comparison. Here he is from the Marvel comic original artwork. And again, he has the gray striping down the middle and you can see his eyes through the goggles and they went with this version where you can't see his face or his eyes. All right, fam, my final thoughts on this torpedo, this G.I. Joe classified line is solid. Whatever little shaky beginnings it had is long over with. These guys, these figures are fantastic figures. They rival Marvel Legends. I think they're better than Marvel Legends. You know, Marvel Legends has kind of been the number one figure at the... Um, under $20 price point well now it's, it's kicked over to like the 25 now but at that price point Marvel Legends were number one for years and I think this G.I. Joe classified line still has bro it's rivaling that the paint on mine could have been a little bit better I wish we could see the face with the goggles on you know at least the eyes I wish they had did it like uh transparent plastic sort of like they did the Cobra Eel where you can see through but they didn't do it. they could have gave us an option they could have gave us two different ones um, but that's on my wish list. But for what we got, we got the harpoon, we got a machine gun with the little clip that loads it, we got the oxygen tank on his back. It's some little pad under there. I don't know exactly what that pad is. Somebody please tell me in the comments below. Um, we got the gear that goes over his face. It's very cool. He comes with a knife as well, a little underwater uh, navigation device on his wrist. At least I think that's what it is. That's what I'm saying it is. I'm sticking to that. Um, removable flippers awesome figure from top to bottom now what i wish they had done i wish they had gave us options with a gray set of flippers for this guy um to throw it back to the 80s for an old head like me i wish we could see through the goggles on his face and i wish we had um some like swimming motion hands to put on this guy like he's just swimming underwater i mean i hate it when they don't give us interchangeable hands and lastly i wish they had gave him an uncovered head so we can see his hair and face and everything like that. So he can just, you know, walk around, drink some coffee with the, with the boys before he go on the mission. Instead of just having his thing on and all your pictures or all your displays. Now, other than that, very cool figure. Another great pickup. Do you guys have it? Are you going to get it? Let me know in the comments below. And I want to thank you all for watching another episode of George Reviews. The reviews where every toy has a story.